Well, you guys, yep, here it is. Um, one of my first skateboards. So I gotta be honest with you, this is not actually my very first skateboard. So I'll tell you that story real quick. I can't remember exactly what it was. I was probably about six years old, seven years old at the time, but it had some palm trees on it. It was like one of these sort of, you know, probably Canadian Tire Walmart boards. The wheels on it were, you know, maybe a little bit wider and red. They had more of like an early 80s look to it. And yeah, all I remember is the palm trees. And I remember, you know, like watching Back to the Future and seeing Michael J. Fox riding a skateboard. And I think that's what made me want to get one. So I pestered my parents enough that they got me one. I rode that thing, like I pretty much just bum boarded all night on the road out front of my house. You know, had the best time. I still remember going to the store and buying it, coming home and bum boarding all night. And then I left it outside my front door and of course it wasn't there in the morning. So that was my very first skateboard. But this was the very first skateboard that I owned for a long time and just rode the crap out of. All right guys, so what is this? This is a Dominion skateboard. And if you grew up in Canada in the 80s, even if you didn't skate, you probably remember this because everyone and their dog would have had a Dominion skateboard in their garage. So this was, you know, like the total Canadian Tire, Toy Store, Walmart brand of the 80s and very early 90s. So this could possibly be um, as new as say the very early 90s. Uh, before you know the sort of cheap toy store board manufacturers caught up with new school shapes All right, let's take a close look at this thing you guys like you can see it's got the DSC on the trucks The wheels are in perfect condition. It doesn't even look like this thing ever actually got ridden It's got the classic plastic under all the hardware and trucks, you know toy store look it's got plastic base plates it has you know the tail skid and even better than a mall grab, you guys, it's got this thing. You can carry your board around like this. That's solid. Mall grabability doesn't feel so good with these bulky axles there. You know, I actually had intentions of riding this skateboard for this video, but once I got it in my hands, I could see that this thing is in such good condition, it would be a shame to scratch any of it up, damage it, risk breaking it. And you know, these plastic base plates, like 30 year old plastic base plates, stand a pretty good chance of breaking if I try and skate these. So, um, you know, I think I might just ride it around and fart around a little bit, but I definitely am not gonna risk scratching this all up. It is in such good shape. But anyways, let me explain to you guys. So when I had this board, would have been maybe from about like eight to 11 years old. So if I was ever going anywhere as a little kid, I would often ride my skateboard. I learned how to ride off curbs on this skateboard and that was about it. You know, it basically, this got me from A to B, like going to the candy store. I vividly remember one day eating it so hard. So you know at the bottom of a curb where it goes from concrete to asphalt? Yes, us Canadians are polite. We say asphalt. We've been over this. But you know where the concrete meets the asphalt, sometimes the asphalt ramps up and has a big, you know, chunky chunk there to eat it on. And I remember doing that so hard. That was my first like really bad slam on a skateboard. Was learning how to ride off curbs and then picking the wrong one, getting hung up and just like splat on my way to the candy store. But I'm sure I consoled myself with all the gummies I could buy. So I even had this skateboard when I decided to become a skateboarder. You know, my friend um, in elementary school, we had just gone into grade six, so I was 10 going on 11, and he was like, skateboarders are really cool, we should get skateboards. And um, that, was, that was how and why I started skateboarding, because my friend said it was cool, because his older sister was always talking about skaters, and their crazy pants, and their crazy shoes, and their crazy hats, and all their crazy antics. It was more than I could resist as a 10 going on 11 year old. But yeah, somebody ended up giving me a H Street board. So it actually had, you know, the tiniest bit of a nose, like it was an old board that they had kicking around. And I put these old Dominion trucks and wheels on that H Street deck. And that was my first, you know, like, foray into skateboarding and riding something that wasn't a total toy store board. So when I was 10 going on 11, that was the winter of 92, 93. 
and it wasn't until May of 93 that I got my first actual new school board. It was, I believe, a Mario Rubalcaba Acme board or a Channel One, something like that. And it, I actually found it once searching through old catalogs and I was sure it was that with Venture Feather Lights and green Powell Jelly Ball 39 millimeters. So that was my other actual new school first setup. Second board was a Steve Cab. I remember buying it and I remember it being a Steve Cab Powell. We've been talking for a while, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do a lot of tricks on this, but I do think we should at least see how it rolls. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's so bad. It's exactly the same as like a Walmart board by today's standards that just, you know, like jump on it and it doesn't roll. Oh, and I managed to gum it up with leaves and gunk already in the first minute. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't roll exactly like a Walmart board. It feels so weird to have that tail skid thing on here. I, can you guys imagine putting on, you know, this thing's got to be almost three quarters of an inch thick. Can you imagine losing three quarters of an inch of your like pop that you need to actually get your trick? Crazy. I think I am gonna try to ollie up the ledge and that's it. Acid drops. That, that's what I called them. I don't think that's the right name. I think it's called the caveman. That's what I was into when I was a little kid. I would just do those off of everything. <laughs> All right, we got to do a little better than that. That was scary. My front foot went right off the board. They're so loose, uh, but they have no turn. They just, it's all lean, not turn. That one. I just got mega wheel bite. Oh, yeah. All right, this is actually going pretty well. I think we got to do a kick one. First try, first try. I hope it's not too windy for the for the iPhone here. Hope you guys aren't getting Let's do that a little little better. Oh. Oh.
Oh, yeah, such loose trucks. There we go. Let's get a moving one. Yeah. All right, we know we have to tray. Let's just try even spinning one and see what happens. There's no grip where I want my foot for a tray. Ah! Don't do that. No. No, I don't think I can do a tray flip with this plastic thing on here. There's not enough scoop. Let's just do some more kick flips. Maybe, maybe the finale should be a kick flip off the curb. I wonder if it heel flips. Oh. Oh. Don't break. Don't break trucks. Oh, I'm going to do that moving. Yeah. Not only does this not have concave, it feels like it has negative concave because as soon as you stand on it, it flexes. That's not too hard. All right, kick flip down the curb. <laughs> ah, don't do that. You guys, I scratched the Dominion sticker. No! <laughs> oh man, it slows down so much as soon as you lean down on it, especially going fakey. trucks they got the jiggle there we go Sounded more like barf than bark. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm done. I'm done. I put enough little scratches on this. Uh, I haven't broken it yet. I think we're done. All right, you guys, that was wicked fun, but we are definitely gonna quit while we're ahead here. So yeah, I didn't scratch the trucks. There's definitely some bigger wheel bite marks. Uh, a little more wear on this, a little wear on the tail, and some scratches around the edges. But it's otherwise still in exactly the same condition as it was when I just picked it up this afternoon. So yeah, anyways, that is uh, the old school Dominion Skateboards uh, review. Actually, I didn't really say anything about it, but yeah, dead flat. Super sticky wheels, bearings that don't roll, just like I would have expected. Got those crazy bolts sticking up out over top. Um, yeah, and shorter and smaller than what I remembered.
crazy fun, weird board. Would love to actually grind this up and skate it on some transition, but I, I just don't want to destroy it. It's in way too good a shape. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments. Was this one of your old boards? Did you have one of these? Do you remember this one? Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Till the next video.